Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am. What is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am. Well, thank you all so much for joining me in studying Lesson 229 in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. We're reading from the original edition here on Thursday, August the 17th of 2023. Love which created me is what I am. And it's through that love that we find it easy to practice forgiveness because that's our native state to overlook what is not real. The, the evil, the sin, the bad, the, the... We overlook it and know that there's a reality behind it all that is beautiful and that is real, that is love. And that's what we are. Love which created me. Remember, a, we're learning that a creator creates in its own image. And God, being love, created me, which makes me love too. And you can say that about yourself also. Not, there's no one that can't say that. We can all say that. Love, which created me, is what I am. And I'm Willie from the Ozarks. And here we are, I'm sitting on a little, uh, I call it St. Diane's Creek on my place. Love which created me is what I am. I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. Now need I seek no more. Love has prevailed. So still it waited for my coming home that I will turn away no longer from the holy face of Christ. And what I look upon attests the truth of the identity I sought to lose, but which my Father has kept safe for me. <laughs> Father, my thanks to you for what I am, for keeping my identity untouched and sinless in the midst of all the thoughts of sin my foolish mind made up. And thanks to you for saving me from them from all those foolish thoughts that our minds made up, we thank God for saving us from those. Amen. Love which created me is what I am. And our associated reading with today's idea is what is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. <laughs> it does not pardon sins and make them real. It sees there was no sin, and in that view are all your sins forgiven. What is sin except a false idea about God's Son? Forgiveness merely sees its falsity and therefore lets it go. What then is free to take its place is now the will of God. An unforgiving thought is one which makes a judgment that it will not raise to doubt, although it is not true. The mind is closed and will not be released. The thought protects projection, tightening its chains, so the distortions are more veiled and more obscure, less easily accessible to doubt, and further kept from reason. What can come between a fixed projection and the aim that it has chosen as its needed goal? An unforgiving thought does many things. In frantic action it pursues its goal, twisting and overturning what it sees as interfering with its chosen path. Distortion is its purpose and the means by which it would accomplish it as well. 
It sets about its furious attempts to smash reality without concern for anything that would appear to pose a contradiction to its point of view. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is still and quietly does nothing. It offends no aspect of reality nor seeks to twist it to appearances that it likes. It merely looks and waits and judges not. He who would not forgive must judge, for he must justify his failure to forgive. But he who would forgive himself must learn to welcome truth exactly as it is. <coughs> do nothing then and let forgiveness show you what to do. Through him who is your guide, your savior and defender, strong in hope and ultimate of yours <coughs> and certain of your ultimate success, <coughs> he has forgiven you already for such is his function given him by God. Now must you share his function, the Holy Spirit's function, and forgive whom he has saved, whose sinlessness he sees, and whom he honors as the Son of God. Okay, and let's go look in our text reading, and, we'll, and then we'll come back here to uh, our lesson for today, which is love which created me is what I am. Be sure to do your two longer practice periods today, one in the morning and one in the evening, for whatever time makes you feel like you, you, that you got enough out of it, that you got what you wanted out of it. And, uh, and then throughout the day, try to bring your attention back to this idea. Love which created me is what I am. Every hour of the day today, love which created me is what I am. And we're in chapter 24, Specialness and Separation, and we're in section 3, The Treachery of Specialness, and we read paragraph 17. Let's read it again today, and we'll pick up there in paragraph 17 in chapter 24. While you're turning there, what on earth is going on today here on August 17th? Baby Boomer's Recognition Day and baby boomers, I finally got a date, 1946 to 1964 is what is officially called the baby. If you're born during those years, between those years, you're a baby boomer, I guess. <laughs> balloon airmail day, there was a balloon that, that was trying to make balloon deliveries and it failed on its very first mission because the wind didn't cooperate. It was on its way to New York and they, I uh, think from... I'm not sure where, Cincinnati maybe, but anyway, they, they didn't make it. But it was it was uh, sanctioned as the first balloon airmail day, and maybe the last. <laughs> Meaning of is day, and that's that Bill Clinton, when he was on trial uh, in 1998, he brought up, well, it depends on what is means. <laughs> National number two pencil day. Uh, the national n number two pencils is the medium grade, not too hard, not too soft. National Black Cat Appreciation Day. Uh, national I Love My Feet Day. When I, I took that and I, I immediately thought of Romans chapter 10, verse 15, where it says, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Well, that ought to be all of us. We ought to be sharing the gospel of peace because remember what you are learning is what you're teaching. You can't keep from it. You're always teaching. The question is, what are you teaching? And since you're trying to learn peace, you must be teaching it too. So you got beautiful feet. You have beautiful feet. Gospel of peace. Uh, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things Hopefully that's what we're doing, bringing glad tidings of the, 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 the gospel of peace, uh, the practice of forgiveness, uh, lo love which created you is what you are. We can share that with everyone. National Nonprofit Day, National Thrift Shop Day, National Vanilla Custard Day. And let's talk a minute about, and that's all of the, the, the I found all that on holidaysandobservances.com. 
And for vanilla, its, it's genus is vanilla, species is planifolia, and I think there's several species. They're an orchid, really. And anyway, they, they grow their tropical, grow in zones 10 and 11. And I found this on uh, Cygnos.com. Vanilla extract offers many health benefits. Vanilla is known to have both antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory properties, as well as being neuroprotective, antifungal, antibacterial, boosts antibo anti antibody, antibiotics, <laughs> and helpful for wound healing. So I thought, well, that's some nice things to have some benefits. Of course, you can't do that with imitation vanilla. You need to be the, you know, pay a little extra, but use natural things. I wouldn't encourage anyone to use artificial um, substances for your body. You use something that's natural. Uh, okay, and then I've also got uh, a melon I wanted to tell you about out of Seed Savers Exchange, and it's the Eden's Glen, or no, Eden's Glim Melon. Cucumus Mellow, Seed Savers Exchange, Eden Glim, also known as Rocky Ford Eden Gim, Jim. Oh, Jim, what did I say? What I, I'm not sure what I said. Eden Jim is what it is. Uh, Eden's Jim, or Eden Jim, or Rocky Ford Eden Jim. Early, mature, early maturing variety developed in 1905 at Rocky Ford, Colorado, as a crate melon uh, could ship it amy goldman author of melons for the passionate grower claims that this one that this is one of her all-time favorites and may cause drooling <laughs> softball sized netted fruits weigh in at about one pound complex spicy flavor 65 to 80 days that's pretty quick a uh, thousand 100 seeds to the ounce. The Eden's Gem Melon. And what else do we have? Oh, I've got a near-death experience. It's on the Dustin Warnke video series, I guess. It's 16 minutes and 37 seconds. And it's uh, called Life After Life Experience NDE with Steve Gardepi, Vietnam War. Uh, and it's, he said that uh, when he was, you know, the one thing that he distilled from that is that you just want to do God's will because you're so, you're, you're so loved and that you can't go wrong. Uh, he talked about how after, he, when he came back, now he looks forward to dying. Matter of fact, he didn't want to come back, <laughs> but he, he needed to. Uh, he wasn't ready for that. He had work to do here. So he says, I look forward to going home again. I thought, boy, that's, that's the attitude we all want about death, isn't it? Look forward to going home again and be able to take with us, Father, not my will, but thine be done. So, uh, so anyway, that is uh, the near-death experience that I found I thought you might be interested in. All right, well, let's, uh, let me set this up here. And let's go back and look at our text reading now. Paragraph 17. The shining radiance of the Son of God, so like his Father that the memory of him springs instantly to mind, and with this memory the Son remembers his own creations, as like to him as he is to his Father. And all the world he made, and all his specialness, and all the sins he held in its defense against himself will vanish as his mind accepts the truth about himself as it returns to take their place. This is the only, in quotes, cost of truth. You will no longer see what never was, nor hear what makes no sound. Is it a sacrifice to give up nothing and receive the love of God forever? <laughs> of course not. And this really goes well with our lesson today, love which created me is what I am? Is it a sacrifice to give up nothing and to receive the love of God forever? 18. You who have chained your Savior to your specialness and given it his place, 
Remember this, he has not lost the power to forgive you all the sins you think you placed between him and the function of salvation given him for you, nor will you change his function any more than you can change the truth in him and in yourself. But be you certain that the truth is just the same in both. It gives no different messages and has no meaning. And it is one you both can understand and one which brings release to both of you. Here stands your brother with the key to heaven in his hand held out to you. Here stands your brother with the key to heaven in his hand held out to you. See why it's so important to love your neighbor as yourself? Because they hold the key to help you get into heaven by your love for them. Here stands your brother with the key to heaven in his hand held out to you. Let not the dream of specialness remain between you. What is one is joined in truth. 19. Think of the loveliness that you will see within yourself when you have looked on him as on a friend. He is the enemy of specialness, but only friend to what is real in you. Not one attack you thought you made on him has taken from him the gift that God would have him give to you. His, that's nice to know, isn't it? Even though we fumble and make some attacks, and it's, he still has the gift of life to give us the gift of love to give us, to open up heaven to us. So not one attack you thought you made on him has taken from him the gift that God would have him give to you. His need to give it is as great as yours to have it. <laughs> His need to give it is as great as yours to have it. Let him forgive you all your specialness and make you whole in mind and one with him. He waits for your forgiveness only that he may return it unto you. It is not God who has condemned his son, but only you to save his specialness and kill his self. It is not God who has condemned his son, but only you. Wow. You to save his specialness and kill his self. Well, that's the ego's working, isn't it? Paragraph 20. You have come far along the way to truth. You have come far along the way to truth. Too far, too far to falter now. Just one step more and every vestige of the fear of God will melt away in love. Your brother's specialness and yours are enemies and bound in hate to kill each other and deny they are the same. Yet it is not illusions which have reached this final obstacle that seems to make God and his heaven so remote that they cannot be reached? Here in this holy place does truth stand waiting to receive you both in silent blessing and in peace so real and so encompassing that nothing stands outside. Leave all illusions of yourself outside this place to which you come in hope and honesty. 21. Here is your Savior from your specialness. He is in need of your acceptance of himself as part of you, as you for his. You are alike to God as God is to himself. Boy, that sure speaks of lesson for today. Love which created me is what I am. You are alike to God as God is to himself. He is not special for he would not keep one part of what he is unto himself not given to his son, but kept for him alone. And it is this you fear, for if he is not special, then he willed his son be like him. And your brother is like you, not special, but possessed of everything, including you. <laughs> 22. Give him but what he has, remembering God gave himself to both of you in equal love that both might share the universe with him who chose that love could never be divided and kept separate from what it is and must forever be. You are your brothers. Part of love was not denied to him, but can it be that you have lost because he is complete? What has been given him makes you complete as it does him. God's love gave you to him and him to you because he gave himself. What is the same as God is one with him. 
and only specialness could make the truth of God in you as one seem anything but heaven and the hope of peace at last in sight. Only specialness could make the truth of God in you as one seem anything but heaven and the hope of peace at last in sight. 23. Specialness is the real treachery upon the gift of love. Whatever serves its purpose must be given to kill. No gift that bears its seal but offers treachery to giver and receiver. Not one glance from eyes it veils but looks on sight of death. Not one believer in its potency but seeks for bargains and for compromise that would establish sin, love substitute, and serve it faithfully. And no relationship that holds its purpose dear but clings to murder as safety's weapon and the great defender of all illusions from the threat of love. 24. The hope of specialness makes it seem possible God made the body as the prison house which keeps his son from him. For it demands a special place God cannot enter and a hiding place where none is welcome but your tiny self. Your tiny self, the ego, <laughs> the unreal self. Nothing is sacred here but unto you and you alone, apart and separate from all your brothers, safe from all intrusions of sanity upon illusions, safe from God, and safe from conflict everlasting. Oh, all that in that tiny self, oh boy safe from God? Who wants to be safe from God? You want to be safe in God. Here are the gates of hell you closed upon yourself to rule in madness and in loneliness your special kingdom apart from God, away from truth and from salvation. And paragraph 25, the last paragraph that will finish this section. The key you threw away God gave your brother whose holy hands would offer it to you when you were ready to accept his plan for your salvation in place of yours. The key you threw away. Your judgment was thrown away the key. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. Well, the key you threw away, God gave your brother, <laughs> whose holy hands would offer it to you when you were ready to accept his plan for your salvation in place of yours. How could this readiness be reached save through the sight of all your misery and the awareness that you plan has failed and will forever fail to bring you peace and joy of any kind? Through this despair you travel now, yet it is but illusion of despair. The death of specialness is not your death, but your awakening into life eternal. The death of specialness is not your death, but your awakening into life eternal. You but emerge from an illusion of what you are to the acceptance of yourself as God created you. Wow. That, that, that is what we, we, we want to accept our brother in love, use forgiveness to do such. Okay, um, our lesson today, love which created me is what I am. I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. There's your identity. You finally found it. Self-realization in a, in a sentence. Love which created me is what I am. Now need I seek no more. I found it. Be it now. Be the love you are. Love has prevailed. So still it waited for my coming home that I will turn away no longer from the holy face of Christ. And what I look upon attests the truth of the identity I sought to lose, but which my Father has kept safe for me. Father, my thanks to you for what I am, for keeping my identity untouched and sinless in the midst of all the thoughts of sin my foolish mind made up. And thanks to you for saving me from them. Amen. Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am.
I am love which created me is what I am love which created me is what I am love which created you is what you are love which created me is what I am what is forgiveness what is forgiveness forgiveness recognizes what you thought you broke did to you has not occurred forgiveness recognizes what you thought you broke not the curve. Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what Love which created me is what I am. Love which created me is what I am. And thank you again for joining me. And know that you are blessed by God. Love which created me is what I am.